All right, what's going on everybody? Hope you're all having a great day. And in today's video, I'm gonna doing a little car profile explanation on how to use this card in this video. And a card I chose is Goblin Grenade. So its cost is one red mana, it's a sorcery. You sacrifice a goblin to have Goblin Grenade deal five damage to one target. I decided to add this to my goblin deck. I definitely wanna get a few more copies for it because this is absolutely perfect for it. This works really well, of course, in a goblin deck but a goblin deck that does a lot of sacrificing and recursion. So this is really perfect for my deck because it does that a ton. I have a few cards here to kind of help explain that. So first we got Mad Anti. Simple, simple right here. Tap it to regenerate another target goblin. I generally combo this with Mud Button Torch Runner because every time Mud Button Torch Runner gets sent to the graveyard, he deals three damage to target opponent. So I combo that with Mad Anti a ton but this can also work perfectly with Goblin Grenade. The next we have Warren Pilfers. When Warren Pilfers comes into play, return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Just giving you more card options to sit there and be able to sacrifice creatures over and over again. Because the nice thing is this deck has a lot of low cost goblins. So you know if I have like five, six mana on the field, I have the ability to sit there and be able to maybe make another creature, be able to bring two creatures out onto the field, sack one, sack the other one the next turn. So that works perfectly with it. And this one, I love it because it's nice and simple. Bogart Rebirth Ray for one black mana. 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 Return target goblin card from your graveyard to your hand. Same thing as like what Warren Pilfers does. It's there. Brings more uh, goblins back into your hand from the graveyard. Some of them allow you to search for goblin cards and put them into your hand, which is really nice. Or one, uh, I remember one specifically puts it on top of your deck, which is nice. So the next turn you'll draw that card that you wanted. So that's really it guys. I just wanna do a quick card profile for you guys on this card. And I, I absolutely love it. It's a ton of fun. It's just like, a, it works well because it's just like, a, uh, man, I can't remember exactly the name of the card, but it, 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 it works the same way. It's a sacrificing to deal damage, except the added bonus is it also uh, throws five damage at the opponent. So it's not as good, but it's a nice addition to be able to do almost the same thing but it's actually for a lot less cost, which is of course really nice. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.